What's up guys, it's Dill Guy, and welcome back to our old Dave's Odyssey. Last time we did the Scarabinian Nests, and today we have a bit of an exciting episode, I guess, because we're going to be doing um, was perhaps the best level in the entire game, or one of the best levels in the entire game. This is basically, as you can see, we have returned to the stockyards, and see there's a nice fire right here, and there's like cables and stuff around it. This, I don't remember if this stuff was here before. It looks like a trap, so perhaps. But look, see, this sign says, get back to Rupture Farms. Yes, we are returning now to Rupture Farms. We're going back to the stockyards. That sign is telling us how to get there, so. And look at how much it's changed. This is, you know, the sledge where we could go back, and there's a portal here to uh, take us, or portal to take us back to get more rocks. In a place where we got rocks. Look how it's changed. Now it's got all this industrial stuff here. You know, from Rupture Farms. And here are, see that bomb? These will set that bomb off. And then the slog starts chasing us. Now what you want to do is just run. Just keep running. You don't want to wait there too long though because, see, if you, okay, so Okay, there. The slog will get blown up by the bomb. But you don't want to wait um over on the other side too long because then um oh, because then um the you might run have to roll into the bomb. But basically, oh, see you can't go past there where that ledge was leading to Monte Glide. You can't go there anymore because then there's that electrical field to kill you. And there's a slog kennel. There's a slog kennel they installed. I don't know what that fit top part of the electrical fields it's attached to for the top of that slog thing, but whatever. Yes, there are the moons, as we've seen before, same background all. And see these spears, these look like the documents that are, some characters got failed there too. So you know, maybe that's the document got failed it, I don't know. Or just stuff they hung up there, I don't know. But the fire's still there. Things still hanging, and there are the moons. They look nice, yeah, and stars, same backgrounds. You see. Okay, so this we gotta be careful with, um, and we have to pull that lever and not trip to get those rocks. All right, so um, so there are multiple reasons why I love this level. First off, I guess, um, I really like the theme of it. It's, you know, a grassland swamp, kind of. I've been returning to the stockyards, but, um... Um, the, you know, in the night sky atmosphere and, you know, with the industrial stuff added, it makes it look a lot better. And it trips a rock. But, like, having... You know, this industrial stuff makes it seem a lot more intimidating. Um, and I like the contrast. I like that um, it's dark and now has all its nature, but now it's come back. And industrials have really done, you know, their work. And, oh yeah, the, obviously those sensors will, if you trip them, they'll send out the bomb. Have come back here to try to stop Abe and make the path more difficult for him. Um, I like the mix of them. Industrial in nature. Oh, so I guess I'm with like that. Also, music is fantastic. Okay. Oh, th oh, that's nice. Blah blah. blah. Okay. Well, also, the music is awesome. He yeah, has where see his secrets blocked off. There aren't any more secrets. Um. Okay, but, um, so, 
Fire's still going, yeah, it's secrets. Back rocks, because he's gone. Okay, so it's changed up a lot. Yeah, he took it down and poured some stuff up on it. There's no portal in one area. Um, down there for the unlocks. All right, so there's the credits music. Can you just remix or change up? I don't know why. This game first was the credits, but you know, they're pretty much the same exact same song. Um, there's a fire. But basically, it was used um, in a solo song. I don't know why. Basically, and Slick will come over here, so be quick and get over here. So, and I guess anyone who's actually who's actually like download the soundtrack, I guess it's just a big element. So, you want to just. Keep going. Um, but every world, yeah, I'll come over here. Um, so you want to get that rock and run over and run back. Run over there, slip will come. I guess slog chasing you and then the, you just like came up just like ran the screen and just started running. Getting violent. Let's run back. Yeah, slogs here are something vicious, but uh, come over here. Okay, there we go. Fire is still good. Oh, we just jumped into the floor right there. I didn't know we could do that. Okay, so it takes us over here. And the reason we didn't go up there is because right here, see? There are bats right there, and they will kill you if you try to go out there. But the moon still shining bright, so that's good. Now there's this man. But yeah, these slugs can be annoying. Yeah, you can do this. Uh, Slick will come if you trip this. Because if as soon as you get into their attack range, the slogs, like in a the millisecond, they'll just run up and bite you and tackle you and you'll get killed by snakes. Okay, so. This may shine bright though. Okay, any time is right. If you trip. If you, when you trip them, those, they'll send out a slick, so. Looks like one. Let's wait for it to come down. There. Okay, well, obviously, that's why you want to put space for slick. Oh, yeah. I, I think, though, if you, um, just wait, this slick will walk into it. The, um, um, the mine anyway. So you want to come up here. Go over here. The slot sleeping. It's, yeah, see, just walk into the ropes there. Yeah, I can't tell if that's from the document, but okay, okay. Get impaled or just a trap or just see there's a, a sack but see there's a slick over there see there's no secret down there but um there's nothing beyond that I think it's just invisible when you get shot so yeah slick will start chasing you yeah you just want to go down there you just want but see you can't get past this this mine right here so you just want to get the slug come over here it's pretty short and then go down there Take you back to your bulbs. This 
to like one. So it's a pretty short level. I'm not maybe just gonna say all of it. I'm just gonna keep regurgitating it. Oh no, it might be by like by like you know dark areas with na nature industrial. Oh, here's the thing that would show this typical dark and skin like it's like it kind of makes it more interesting, but it doesn't look looking like it's gonna go through the forest and there's scary night. It's normal during day. I guess this kind of fits that too. The forest, swamp, grassland, whatever. Uh, maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. Nighttime, you know, it's swamp, grassland, forest series with um, mixed nature industrialism and also just standard, you know, simple living. It's pretty weak. Uh, sue me, okay. But yeah, this like right here is pretty terrifying. But yeah, if you trip that, it'll just come out. And then just bl either blows you up on the mind if you haven't gotten it, or it'll shoot you if you're down there, and it'll blow up both of you because of the mind. It'll kill you. It blows up the mind, obviously. The slog's not coming, so. That will make it come up. And it blows itself up and makes a pathway. Over here. Go down here. And there we go. Okay. And this takes us back to Rupture Farms. So this fire's down here. I think it was there before, but I'm not sure. There's no rocks though. That looks like another sac ear sac or character swing down here in a trap. I don't care. Alright, so that is it for this part. Um uh hope this episode hopefully you all enjoy. Thank you all for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys next time for return to Zalag 1. Bye bye.